Hey there planners, today I'm gonna to be setting up my bullet journal for next week, the week ahead, and I wanna bring you along. I wanna share with you some of the tools, the processes, and the steps I use to make sure I'm ready for the week ahead. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. All right, so I'm in my bullet journal and I'm gonna be setting up for a specific week in April of 2024. But I think no matter what planner you're using or when you're watching this video, you should be able to get some tools, ideas, processes, steps that hopefully you can use to help you be the most prepared for the week ahead. Before I dive right in, I do want to say welcome to those of you who are new to Planning Annie. We are so glad you're here. Here at this channel, we are a community of planner enthusiasts. We love our planner systems. We love getting things done. We love tools that help us focus on everything we need to accomplish. We also love to be creative. We love to experiment and with journaling and all of the different tools that we can use as creative outlets. So if that sounds like something that you enjoy, we hope you'll consider subscribing and becoming a permanent part of our community. For those of you returning, we're super glad you're here. Jump down in the comments below after the video, leave your ideas, ask questions. There's always such a good discussion going on in the comments below. Okay, so we are in the month of April. And I am going to be planning actually for the very first week of April. But again, I think there's tools and ideas here that hopefully you can use in your own system, no matter what planner you're using or when you are planning, um, what time of year you're planning. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to conduct a weekly review. I did a whole video about doing a weekly review and why I think this is so critical in my system. I would never skip this step. This is one of the most important parts of my planner system, both for work and personal. So I'm going to have that video listed down below along with all the supplies I talk about and mention. Um, I definitely recommend go check that uh, video out on the weekly review because it is such an important step to my process. So I've already done a couple of these for the wrap up. I have um, cleaned up the desk space, everything, all the clutter is cleaned up. I do need to make sure all of the actions from this last week in the week of March are up to date. So let me do that quickly. All right, so I've got a good idea of the things that need to carry over to next week. I've done that. So now I'm going to do a little bit of reflection. Um, what went well? What didn't? What do I do differently? This is a time where I'm actually going to pull out a different notebook and do some journaling, just some free writing in. I will be back after I finish this step in my process. It doesn't take me long. Usually about 10 minutes is enough for me to just kind of empty my mind um, and, you know, kind of think back, reflect on the week. But I'll be back as soon as I finish that step. All right, so I've done that step. I've kind of cleared my mind. I've got some things that I ended up putting in my planner system, like kind of capturing ideas on the future log, things like that. Now it's time for me to actually start capturing. So um, the week that we are moving into is already set up. I have, I went ahead and set all the weeks up for the month of April. So that's ready to go. If you have a pre printed planner, this will be a super easy step for you because everything will already be ready to go. So my week is ready. What I need to do now is start to add in all the to-dos from all the places that my to-dos live. So the first place I'm going to check is on the monthly calendar here. Um, and I do have a few things that I need to add from here. So I'm actually going to grab one of my very favorite tools, and that is these um, zig dot markers. I also have been using these shuttle art dot markers too, which are really great. I love these as well. Um, I think I'm actually going to use the light green zig marker for this to help mm, maybe this color to help things stand out. So let me capture just a few things here. All right, and then the next place I'm gonna look is actually on my phone. I'm gonna pull up the family Google Calendar and make sure that nothing's been added that I didn't know about. <laughs> because that happens when everybody has access to the calendar. You know, sometimes folks go in and add things that I just didn't catch. So I'm gonna take a look at that real quick and make sure I've got everything off of there. Okay, definitely had a few things on there um, that I needed to add. 
And all right, let me look at the rest of my list to see. Um, I have a future log up here, but I'm pretty sure I pulled everything off my future log already. Yeah, I've got everything off my future log. Um, carry over items. So items from the last week that I need to make sure get pulled into this week. I'm going to do that now. And I'm actually going to capture these because some of these don't have due dates. So the way I cap, I mean, don't have specific days they need to be done. So I'm actually going to capture them up here in sort of this week list. Okay, so I've pulled in the things that I did not get done in the past last week that I need to get done next week. And now let me check and make sure there's nothing else. Oh, goals. So goals is a great place that I like to look. And this is exactly why I keep this list because I probably would have forgotten about that. I want to look at, because this is the first month in the first week in the month of April, I want to look at my goals and just say, is there anything here that I want to pull in like specific actions for this week? Okay, so I've got goal stuff pulled in. Now I want to go to one of my favorite spreads in my planner. I put it in every planner that I have, and that is my reoccurring task list. So I will just scoot through here and see if there's anything on this list, things that I have to do over and over again, you know, whether it's annual, quarterly, weekly, daily, monthly, I'll go through those and pull in anything. I'll also do a quick review of my trigger list. This is like a brain dump um, and see if there's anything else that needs to be added either to this week coming up or like my overall monthly brain dump list. All right. And one other thing I like to have a view of here, and I actually gave my space self so space on each day is the meals that I have already planned. I like to pull them over just so I know, for example, Monday is a crock pot meal, which means I need to remember to start the crock pot in the morning. <laughs> All right. And then let me flip back to my weekly review and see, is there anything else? I think that's about it. I went through the brain dump list. Okay. I think that's about it for how I've got my week set up initially. Now, what happens next? It looks deceptively like there's a lot of white space on my weekly calendar, and I always think this. However, as I get into the week, things move, things come in, things change, and I also use this space to take like little notes about, you know, maybe a phone call that day or, you know, something that ha happened that I want to highlight and remember. So I actually like to come into the week with a little bit of white space. It's not always possible, so, you know, sometimes there's just weeks that are busier than others, but I like to come into the week like this with a little bit of white space. So I've got a layout. I'll know coming into Monday morning, you know, what I need to do. I totally would have forgot to start the crock pot on Monday morning had I not spent the time to actually write this out and set this up and see what the day looks like. I also have a good idea of what days are going to be busier. So Friday is a very busy day. Um, in addition to my work schedule this day, I have a lot going on this day. So this is a day that I need to make sure I don't add anything else to. And that's really why I like to sit down and do this weekly planning before I get to the week. So hopefully this gives you an idea. You know, when I set up the weeks and I flip through them, they look very decorative. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how I'm using it very functionally. And it really doesn't matter what planner you're using. The steps in the process, the time to do a weekly review, the time to look at, you know, family schedules and calendars, the time to look at the tasks that you have that you have to do every week and make sure they're plotted out and spending a minute looking at your goals and you know what do you need to get done this week related to your goals. Those are all steps that you can take no matter what planner or planner system that you're using. So I really hope this video gives you some ideas. I would love to hear your thoughts, your comments, your questions, all of that down below. How are you preparing for the week ahead? What is working and what is not? And do you have ideas for others? So hop down in the comments. Let's keep the conversation going. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.